Good morning. What's up, YouTube? This is Armando Vasquez from A Vasquez Reefing and Barbecue Grilling. Combine both uh, YouTube channels to one. Uh, I know I said I was going to have two, but I started making the other one, started asking me for billing information, so I just canceled everything and I just decided to make this one. Uh, combined to both reefing, that's of aquarium, reef aquariums, and with my barbecue grilling channel both in one uh, like I posted in the first video was just an introduction of my barbecue pit and my hobby that I've done for a couple of years and uh, enjoyed it I'm addicted to barbecue grilling smoking so here we are now my second video I'm gonna do this video is mainly talking about prevention preventive uh, issues that I do and I googled YouTube and uh, asked a couple of buddies of mine to help me out with the uh, how to take care of the pit. I YouTube uh, barbecue tricks on YouTube, and uh, I saw a video of his and it explained how to treat it, how to cure it, how to season it. So one of the methods was my first time I did it was uh, about a little bottle of lard rubbed it all over the tank all over the tank all over all over all over in and out completely between the racks all over the place the rails the shelves the racks everything 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 even the firebox everything was completely filled with lard the doors and then from there turned it on at a temperatures of uh, 250 to 300 for six hours. That's what I did. The, f the day after I got the pit, which about uh, three days, four days ago. And yesterday, I did my second seasoning curing of the pit, which I used a spray bottle. This one I learned from uh, Barbecue Tricks. I don't remember the name of the gentleman, but he used a simple spray bottle. Filled it up with canola oil or peanut oil because it has a high heat resistance so I just sprayed it all over the place all over all over all over, all over. then you wipe it down all over even the, the racks of shelves even inside the firebox turn it on temperatures again of 250 to 300 for six hours and let it cool down gradually those were the preventive issues uh, that I took and if you see the difference in color, you know how the how expanded metal looks grayish. Now it looks uh, brownish, blackish, which is uh, is the oils that are protecting it from becoming rusty. So that's the main thing. Also, the curing is going to help that in the brand new pit, you're not going to have the smell or the taste of metal. You're going to have the taste of food, a different taste now. So it's seasoned. That's how you do it. That's how I did it. That's how what I googled in YouTube and asked around. The second preventing maintenance that I do to this aquarium, I buy this roof flashings. I believe it's roof flashings. They're made out of aluminum. I've used them for several years. Uh, I have a pit way over there. The pit right there. My brother's pit. My dad's pit. This is at a uh, also, I put this one in my uh, firebox and this one. So I put them, they're aluminum, they won't rust. Or if they do, they'll take a very long time to. They do hold the heat, so they do actually protect and keep the fire off your, your pit. So what I do, is normally I'll just untap the corner. Sorry guys, I'm doing this off my cell phone. I don't have a tripod or I do have a camera, but I really don't enjoy the picture of it. So if you see, I'm gonna overlap it right here. I'm just gonna press down on it. Molds easily, protects, keeps the heat directly off your pit. And if you need to, Cleanup, it's a quick and easy cleanup for this. P 
pick up each and every single one of them, throw them out, quick wash, put them back in. Those are the preventive, preventment, preventative issues and uh, steps that I take for my pit. Also, I varnished the wood, two tables on each side. Varnished them, uh, went over three times on the top and bottom and the sides. They look real nice. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Any comments, questions, please ask me. Critiques, please. I'm a, I'm a amateur at this. I'm learning. And I will we'll need all your expertise and comments and advice so I could, you know, keep this pit for a very long time and everything. And, uh... Soon will be another video on my buddy's uh, vertical pit. Alright, thank you very much. Have a nice day.